What's up YouTube? It's Zandos TCG here and welcome to another TCG Online match. In this match, we are gonna check out Wobba Fat Break. As you know, in this channel, we're talking about every standard deck that is doing incredibly well. So this deck is kind of obscure and uh, did quite well at the Leipzig Regional, so that's the reason why we're checking it out. It's another one of those stall decks. We've seen it before with Wishy Washy, we've seen it before with Sylveon GX, but this is Wobba Fat Break. So uh, as you know, we had disruptive cards like Crushing Hammer, Enhanced Hammer, uh, stuff like Team Flare Grunt, Blue Marina, you all already know the drill uh, of a uh, milling the opponent's deck. Team Rocket's handiwork also works out pretty well and Lusamine, but in this particular case, we are gonna go with the Wobbuffet because Wobbuffet shuts down every ability that is not Psychic type. So Tapu Lele still go through, but things like Trade will not work, Bloodthirsty Eyes will not work, things like Volcanion, Steam Up, forget about it. So all those abilities are shut down if Wobbuffet is in the active position. And with the HP of Wobbuffet Break, so uh, Wobbuffet Break has 140 HP, Zoroark with Righteous Beating will not be able to one-hit KO it uh, unless they are having that Kukui, but we'll have to wait and see how this deck performs. It also has the attack right back at you, we can discard all energies attached to this Pokemon and deal the same amount of damage that we're receiving so against things like Tapu Blue or something we can uh, deal that the same amount of damage if they want to go for the one shot fine by us but we have that same advantage here so with the counter energies make sure that we have that requirement and uh, we uh, usually want to end the game with Acerola and just having our Mew or Hoopa out if Hoopa is out it cannot get hit by EXs and GXs and then we have the Mew here from Evolution's Neutral Shield prevents all effects of attacks including damage done to it by your opponent's Evolution Pokemon which is almost the entire meta, so they will have to rely on things like uh, Tapu Lele in order to knock this guy out. So uh, we have these at our disposal and uh, we're gonna have to wait and see how this deck will function. We also have max potions to heal up our uh, awesome uh, Wobbuffet, so uh, with Parallel City and all these disruptive uh, supporter cards and item cards, we are gonna have a, a lot of fun with another mill deck. So this is uh, a deck that did exceptionally well at the Leipzig Regionals, so that's the reason uh, why we're checking it out on the channel, because I have not talked about Wobbuffet Break at all. I uh, thought it was bad, so uh, that's why we're gonna check out today we're facing a lightning psychic Carlos deck so maybe we're gonna see something cool here and uh, we lost the coin flip which is unfortunate I don't even know how to call this it does not even matter too much because we're not attacking so uh, we start with Mew Oof. A rough start here because Mew does have a low amount of HP. Lucky for us, we do have Nazbol at our disposal to get ourselves the Wobbuffet. So uh, at least we can get our Wobbuffet soon enough. So uh, we are facing Necrozma. The good thing uh, about uh, facing Necrozma is that it has uh, a lot of energies uh, required to do deal a bunch of damage. Uh, we already have the Guzma, which is a good thing, so we're gonna use the uh, Nest Ball here. We're gonna grab ourselves Wobbuffet, I'm gonna see what's price. Also, there's only two Wobbuffet breaks in this type of deck because uh, I don't have a third one. And uh, the opponent concedes already, so which is kind of weird, I guess. Uh, because they're seeing a Mew, I don't know what was that. Uh, maybe the player had to go to the bathroom or he, uh, he or she had to go uh, yeah, to somewhere where they just conceded, which was strange. So, Disregard that match, we're gonna check out Wobbuffet Break. Hopefully we're facing Zoroark because I wanna test out that Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet Break actually has a great matchup against Zoroark. Volcanion does also something neat. Uh, Volcanion will need a Fighting Fury Belt in order to go for the one shot and uh, things like Metagross GX pretty much are done for because the Geotech system doesn't work. So Wobbuffet Break versus a Psychic Water deck. So this is probably Greninja. The good thing about facing Greninja is that they will not be able to use uh, their uh, uh, shurikens, their giant water shurikens, because uh, we are having that Wobbuffet in the active position. I went four Wobbuffet. The <laughs> wow, we start with Mew twice in a row. How is this even possible? I don't even know, but it, uh, it did happen. So we start with Mew. The good thing is Bubble. Oh wow, we can just win this if we can just do something here. Mew is one of those Pokemon that uh, cannot get hit by evolution Pokemon, so maybe if he attaches a water energy he can smack with a Staryu, but mm -hmm. I'd love to use the Team Rocket's handiwork right now or the Team Skull Grunt, but I think we still have an extra turn here, so we can get ourselves the Wobbuffet later down the line, so uh, with the Skyla and the Nest Ball. In this situation, maybe we can just prevent the opponent from uh, having a, lar a large bench pace, we can also do that. But we're, this is a mill deck, and I don't think he will be able to one-shot us, so we're gonna go with the mill strategy, and uh, we're gonna go, and we have one head. So we already discarded the frog there, woo! Boof, there we go. We also have the Parallel City at our disposal and the Puzzles of Time. I want to keep the Puzzle of Time for now in the hand, and uh, we're gonna get ourselves the Wobbuffet later down the line. Alright, 
The bad thing is that uh, Greninja does uh, attack for a single energy and uh, it is able to deal a bunch of damage actually. So he's using Sycamore and he's getting rid of uh, Tapu Lele. So Tapu Lele is in the discard together with a Greninja. So he will have to have a, a resourceful card like a Rescue Stretcher or Super Rod in order to get back his uh, yeah, Frogadiers. Because there's already one in the discard and if there is uh, one or two prized, he might be in an awkward position. So he attacks and he attacks with Smack, which was to be expected in this situation. It is uh, not a, a terrible thing, we already have our Wabafat at our disposal. And uh, we can use the Team Skull Run here to discard some more energies. But I want to get rid of that Star Use somehow because that will make sure that he cannot get back his his her, his or hers energies. So what will be the case here? We could slap down Parallel City. With Parallel City, he will not be able to deal more damage. But I wanted to uh, place it on the other side around. We could also use Skyla healing up some damage. Crushing Hammer could be uh, a nice strategy. I want to keep that uh, energy onto Staryu, but the Staryu does not bother us too much. And I think we are gonna go with Skyla and... I think, yeah, Skyla or Team Skullgrunt. Team Skullgrunt will make sure that he does not have any energy. So uh, if he does not have an energy, he's screwed. So the Splash energy goes away. He cannot even duplicate with that. And I don't mind that my Mew get, uh, has to uh, see the discard here. We can play that Parallel City down so that he can only have three bench Pokemon. With that, only two Frogadiers. Frogadiers can appear. Or we can uh, slap it the other way around so our Mew does not hit the discard. I don't mind that the Mew hits the discard though, so... Evolution Pokemon cannot attack it, so... Maybe we can just put it like this. We can only have three bench Pokemon and uh, the damage output for the water types is reduced by 20, so that is at least... Uh, crazy to know and uh, we might just use the puzzle of time here but we're gonna wait we still have some more time okay he, hopefully he does not grab the energy that he needs in order to get his frogadier uh, equipped with an energy there's already one splash energy in the discard and we do see evo soda here there's gonna be a starmy coming up which will get back the uh, energy that he's gonna yeah he's gonna get back the energy if he discards it so uh, star the space beacon will get back his energy and rescue stretcher even uh, he gets all the cards that he needs wow and now he can use that, uh, maybe we should have slapped it the other way around, man. And let our Mew hit the discard. Maybe that would have been better. So now we do see uh, the Space Beacon. He gets rid of a Frogadier. I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay. Another Rescue Stretcher and uh, now he's gonna use a Sycamore or something. Oh yeah, Water Duplicates. This is unfortunate. One, two, three, three Frogadiers. How do we even face that? But the ability will not work of the Space Beacon if we get a Wobbuffet in the active position. So, we can use Gladia, we can use the Team Flare Grunt. I want my Mew to hit the discard, so... Man. Let's just use Gladion in this situation and check what we have here. Captivating Pokepop, Cosma. The counter energy is neat. Puzzles of Time. I think I'm gonna grab Puzzles of Time here. Puzzles of Time could get back any supporter that we want, so in this situation, I don't want him to use his ability once again, so I'm not getting energies in the discard here. I'm just gonna wait. I want my Mew to get knocked out in this situation. Let's see if it happens. So he can just attack with Shadow Stitching or whatever the hell. I want him to knock out my Mew because starting with Mew is just terrible. I never want to start with Mew. Here comes Greninja. He's already at 28 cards left in his deck. So at least we, we are doing something here. And our Mew will hit the discard. Ultra Ball. And we can uh, get back... Oh, two energies in the discard. Not that it matters too much because he can get, back, get them back with Space Beacon. Which is something I wanted to prevent... Oh man, starting with Mew sucks, and he, he cannot attack our Mew, so that is something cool I guess, but he can snipe it, so uh, as soon as he gets a Greninja breakout, he can uh, deal a bunch of damage and our Mew will hit the discard, so Shadow Stitching will not help at all. Okay, we want to get out of the active position. Let's just do it like this. We're gonna get 
the two cards from the discard pack. There we go. And, uh, crushing hammer. The crushing hammers won't work at all in this situation. He still has that Starmie with the space beacon. Skyla can grab ourselves something that we need, but we're just gonna go for the mill strategy here. One heads, one tails. Okay. He still has 25 cards left in his deck and he will have to resort to a snipe in order to uh, knock out our Mew here because as it seems he has a bunch of cards left and Giant Water Shuriken will get rid of the Mew unfortunately. Poof, the Mew is gone and now Wobbuffet comes into play shutting down the ability of Space Beacon so that is cool. Now we can just start discarding the energies here. But we do need a max potion, otherwise uh, we're in a huge amount of trouble. So N, which is cool. Hopefully we get ourselves a max potion and some uh, crushing hammers because uh, those will have to help us out. Oh, we have the max potion, we have the Team Rocket's handiwork. Okay, two Greninjas. Wow, his entire field is perfect here. Too bad that we got uh, Wobbuffet up so the abilities won't work anymore. And he even has Brooklyn Hills. So, he is gonna have to resort to uh, using Moonlight Slash and putting them back in the hand. Alright. First things first, we are gonna heal up. And now that we healed up, we can... Let's use Brooklyn Hill to check what is still in our deck. We can... Okay. Crap count, crushing, field blower, still a bunch of max potions, Acer will uh, lose some mean, and the counter energy. Alright, we're not gonna grab those, we can use the Team Rocket's handiwork once again and use the puzzles later. Since we cannot do anything about it, we could also use the uh, Skyla and try to get rid of something. Team Skullgrunt would have been a, a great uh, play in this situation, so we can also use counter catcher making that Starmie stuck and after that I think I want to go with Team Rocket's handiwork let's go one heads and one tails again so a Greninja break gets in the discard together with a Guzma wow a bunch of Guzmas in his deck so now that we know that he has so many Guzmas in his discard I don't think he runs anymore so maybe we're safe to bench this Hoopa but we're gonna wait we also have the uh, Puzzles of Time, which we can reuse later. So he only has 18 cards left in his deck, which is awesome. Here comes Starmie, he's gonna retreat, and uh, I don't think he has a lot of energies left. He has three in the discard here, and he's keeping them in the hand, which is a clever move, I guess. Okay, next up, another Wobbuffet comes into play. We're also gonna... I think we're gonna keep on milling here. We're uh, doing a great job, so put two cards from the discard into your hand, and uh, we are gonna grab ourselves the counter catcher at max potion. Would be annoying here. That way, he still has to discard some more energies, which could be disruptive here. Still has energies in the hand. Let's just get that strategy going on. We could have also used Team Rocket's handiwork, but that doesn't reassure us of getting uh, energies discarded. Max potion as well. And now we still have the option to use Skyla, so with Skyla we can grab ourselves maybe a draw supporter which will be the end of the situation. We can also use Skyla to get anything we want, but I think N is a better choice here. Or maybe Crushing Hammer, Max Potion again. Nah, we still have uh, a lot of uh, cards to discard here, so we are in a good position. We can also bench that Hoopa if we want to, so we're gonna do that later. So, he's in the situation. How many energies? I know Greninja runs 10 energies, he's at 3 energies in the discard, he has to retreat once again. And there goes Greninja again. And he had, does not have the energy, so that's awesome indeed. So we're gonna use the same strategy, getting that counter catcher. Oh, Starmie comes back. And... We're not gonna bench Hoopa. I am uh, not too sure about his Guzma count, so we're gonna use N here. What do we get? We got Lusamine, Rescue Stretcher as well, so things are looking great. And I do, do think he will get the energy right now. We have Rescue Stretcher. Skyla will get ourselves the stuff that we need. So, 14 cards left in his deck. I know he can only attack for, uh, I believe, 
80 damage as a maximum and you ha always have to get his uh, energies back in the hand otherwise things will not go as, as planned. So he's gonna retreat once again, there goes Greninja Break and he still doesn't have the energy so we're kinda good. We have the Plume Arena in hand so in this situation we're kinda good so Lusamine will get our back, our uh, discard supporters. We could also, could also get the Parallel City down so he uh, deals less damage but I think the best way to go around this is using that Team Rocket's handiwork turn after turn. Or maybe I want a Counter Catcher back, but it's unfortunate uh, it's already in the discard. So maybe a Parallel City, that way he's only dealing 60 damage. And if we have a Breakout, that's two hits. Nah, Team Rocket's handiwork. He still needs to take five more prize cards, which is huge. And we got the Rescue Stretcher if our Wild Fat is knocked out. It does not even matter too much. So Greninja is kind of a difficult matchup because uh, it does rely on the uh, one prize attackers as well. So uh, usually we want to have our Hoopa and uh, if they have all GXs, they're kind of done for. But in this situation, it's kind of weird. So he's using N, which is good, I guess. How many energies in the discard? There could be a bunch of them prized. Five energies in the discard. If he attaches a splash energy, that also uh, will be uh, gone pretty soon. We also have the Steam Skullgrunt and the Counter Catcher. This is a great, a great, great way to uh, go around this. Okay, and he keeps the energy attached. So uh, we're gonna go for counter, uh, the Crushing Hammer first. And uh, we uh, failed that one, so that is not cool. We can use the Team Skull Grunt in order to uh, ensure some more. We're also gonna bench another Wobbuffet here. We're gonna use Counter Catcher. We're gonna get that Starmie right there. And let's see if he has... Does he have more energies in his discard? Or in his hand? I don't even care anymore. I'm just gonna use that... Uh, Team Rocket's uh, handiwork, we want to speed things up here and uh, we get one hit once again, so no energies in the discards, which is unfortunate, and we're gonna just end our turn. He needs, still needs to take five more prize cards, and his deck is running a bit empty here, so N once again, looks like he does not have the energy necessary, one energy attached, and there are five in the discard, oof, and we get Wobbuffet Break and Max Potion, so that is a huge deal here, we are gonna heal off the damage, poof, we could have also used the Ace Roll here, but... We're in a kind of great position here. Poof, there comes Wobbuffet Break. We're not gonna use Plume Arena because he needs an energy on this active. We can use Lusamine once again to get back some supporters that we want. Or maybe a Stadium card so to reduce the damage as mentioned. So we're gonna get a Handiwork and a Parallel City out of this. And uh, this Parallel City, which we're gonna bench in the other way around. So he deals uh, 20 less damage and uh, he's gonna have to 3-shot this Wobbuffet Break. Uh, and uh, that'll be uh, crazy here because he don't think he has any Guzmas left. So uh, we're doing great with the Wobbuffet deck, so hopefully you enjoyed another TCG online match here with Wobbuffet Break. If you enjoyed this uh, type of deck where we're gonna explore a bunch of new decks that are doing really great, definitely uh, show your support in the description below, actually in the comment section below, and uh, we get two tails with these rockets and uh, we're just gonna pass our turn. Also, uh, the Ultra Prism set, we're gonna open up a booster box case tomorrow, definitely look forward to that, we're gonna make a bazillion new decks, so that is great. And this situation, we can end the opponent, but uh, that way he's gonna draw some more cards. We're gonna use Kikui, we have Enhanced Hammer and a bunch of Team Flare Grunts at our disposal. And I do think this uh, Starmie will be stuck for one turn. I uh, like my Team uh, team Skull Grunt here in this situation. Let's see what he has, uh, what what he's up to, how many ends that he already used. Four ends, so he cannot end anymore. He still has five cards, five turns. I don't think he can get, take five prize cards in five turns. And uh, there comes Greninja once again. He's gonna use that... Uh, Moonlight Slash is gonna put it in the hand, presumably, or no, he doesn't put it in the hand, whatever, so we are gonna get rid of it, just like that, and uh, we can also use Acer Law if we're uh, running low on HP, so we're gonna end our turn, and uh, yeah, without any energies, Greninja is not doing too well, the Space Beacon doesn't work anymore, we're shutting down that ability, and uh, Greninja, even though he has a great setup with a bunch of Greninjas, he cannot even do anything about it. So, Team Rocket's handiwork, here we go again, one hat and one tail, poof, as the average, oh, that was an energy again, oof, uh, eight energies in the discard, I don't think he can come back from that, so... GG, well played. This was uh, the Wobbuffet Break deck that I wanted to showcase for so long on the deck. Definitely add, uh, add three Wobbuffet Breaks in your deck, even though I only run through. I didn't cut the trade done uh, before I wanted to make this video. I was too hyped for it. So, he's gonna use Rescue Stretcher to fill up his deck, I guess. And what is going on here? He's still uh, not doing anything. We have a Max Potion. We're gonna use Ace Roller in this case. And we're gonna promote another Wobbuffet. So we're playing the Squat Wobbuffet deck, presumably really well, so uh, here comes another one, poof! And I think that's it. 
He still has three turns left. No ends in his deck whatsoever. Still gonna, he's gonna go for it. He's gonna just uh, pass turn. So that is great. We're gonna have the Lusamine and we're gonna grab ourselves the two poke uh, th professor. Actually, the handiworks here. Not that it matters too much what we got from that. And uh, it's really great to get yourself the Parallel Cities back as well as the Team Rocket's handiwork. And uh, the opponent only has one card left. And uh, we are gonna make sure we can even look at his hand. We can just hopefully one heads and that's done. Uh, we got two tails, so oof, okay, that was unnecessary. Not necessary at all. And that was his last card. Show your secret sleeves or uh, your secret stash and that's it. And uh, we are still gonna look at his hand, what he had left. And uh, he still didn't have any energy, so there were two energies prized. So that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Wobble Fat Break for you guys. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. If you are testing out Wobble Fat Break, you'll uh, love the deck. If you're playing uh, with it, if you're playing against it, uh, I'm sorry for you guys. It's uh, really annoying. Anyway, this was Zandos TCG. See you guys tomorrow with the Booster Box Case video. I'm out.